Ladies and gentlemen, climate policy currently dominates the political debate in Germany. A carbon tax is gaining more and more advocates. This is due to the fact that Germany is lagging behind its targets for reducing the emission of greenhouse gases. Without an accelerated reduction of emissions, the climate targets for 2030 will not be achieved either. But it is by no means the case that carbon dioxide emissions currently have no price. About half of Germany's emissions are covered by European emissions trading. However, the possible alternative to a carbon tax, namely the extension of emissions trading to other sectors, is not to be expected, because a carbon tax promises better control over price changes. And this would help pushing through the new tax. A carbon tax in the often mentioned amount of 40 euros per ton would significantly increase the prices of fossil fuels for private households. This would, above all, make heating more expensive, because heating oil could cost up to a fifth more, natural gas 16%. The bill due for topping up cars at petrol stations would also rise. Germany would by no means be a pioneer with a carbon tax. We take a look at Switzerland's experience with this levy. In Switzerland, most of the proceeds from the carbon levy is refunded to citizens. Thank you very much for your attention.